Welcome to NASM CPT exam practice test. Our topic today is assessment. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. Subjective information about a person's general history may include his or her family, recreational activities, and hobbies. A. True. B. False. The answer is B. False. Explanation. Subjective information about a person's general history may include his or her occupation, recreational activities, and hobbies. Number 2. Which injury or pain is not included in medical background? A. Tendinitis of the liver. B. Chronic headache. C. Sprains of the ankle. D. Arch of the foot. The answer is A. Tendinitis of the liver. Explanation. Injuries and pain, including sprains of the ankle, groin, or hamstrings, tendinitis of the shoulders, knee, paddler, shins, posterior to bialis, or arch of the foot, plantar fasciitis, and chronic headaches. Number 3. What is groin? A. The region of the body between the pubic symphysis and the coccyx, including the perineal body and surrounding structures. B. The area between the pelvis and the knee, and part of the lower limb. C. The side between the lower ribs and pelvis, and the lower part of the back. D. The junctional area between the abdomen and the thigh on either side of the pubic bone. The answer is D. The junctional area between the abdomen and the thigh on either side of the pubic bone. Explanation. In human anatomy, the groin, the adjective is inguinal, as an inguinal canal, is the junctional area, also known as the inguinal region, between the abdomen and the thigh, on either side of the pubic bone. Number 4. What is not a chronic condition or disease? A. Coronary heart. B. High cholesterol. C. Flu. D. Diabetes mellitus. The answer is C. Flu. Explanation. All of these diseases except flu are chronic conditions diseases. Number 5. What does the abdominal wall most commonly refer to? A. The layers compassing the anterior abdominal wall which includes the three layers of muscle. The transversus abdominis, the internal and the external oblique. B. The layers compassing the posterior abdominal wall which includes the three layers of muscle. The transversus abdominis, the internal and the external oblique. C. The layers compassing the anterior abdominal wall which includes the two layers of muscle. The internal and the external oblique. D. The layers compassing the posterior abdominal wall which includes the two layers of muscle. The internal and the external oblique. The answer is A. The layers compassing the anterior abdominal wall which includes the three layers of muscle the transversus abdominis, the internal and the external oblique. Explanation. In anatomy, the abdominal wall represents the boundaries of the abdominal cavity. The abdominal wall is split into the posterior, back, lateral, sides, and anterior, front, walls. In medical vernacular, the abdominal wall most commonly refers to the layers compassing the anterior abdominal wall which, in addition to the layers mentioned above, includes the three layers of muscle. The transversus abdominis, transverse abdominal muscle, the internal, obliquus internus, and the external oblique, obliquus externus. Number 6. Which of these following is not an example of coronary artery disease? A. Unstable angina. B. Myocardial ischemia. C. Stable angina. D. Myocardial infarction. The answer is B. Myocardial ischemia. Explanation. Myocardial ischemia is not an example of coronary artery disease. Instead, coronary artery disease is the most common cause of myocardial ischemia. Number 7. What is estimated to affect 4 out of 5 American adults and is common among those who work in offices and remain seated for long periods of time? A. Knee injury. B. Chronic disease. C. Low back pain. The answer is C. Low back pain. Explanation. Low back pain is estimated to affect 4 out of 5 American adults and is common among those who work in offices and remain seated for long periods of time. 
Number 8. At what ages are knee injuries likely to occur most? A. 10 to 25. B. 10 to 35. C. 15 to 25. D. 15 to 35. The answer is C. 15 to 25. Explanation. There are approximately 100,000 injuries to the anterior cruciate ligament, ACL, each year, with the vast majority resulting from non-sport-related incidents. Most of these injuries occur to young people between the ages of 15 and 25 and may be a result of a less active population. Number 9. What can treat high blood pressure, hypertension, or irregular heart rate, arrhythmia? A. Calcium channel blockers. B. Nitrates. C. Diuretics. D. Beta blockers. The answer is D. Beta blockers. Explanation. A summary of common medications and the general physiological effects each might have on the body includes. Beta blockers. Treat high blood pressure, hypertension, or irregular heart rate, arrhythmia. Calcium channel blockers. Treat high blood pressure or angina, which is chest pain caused by inadequate blood flow to the heart. Number 10. What do calcium channel blockers refer to? A. Any of a class of drugs that prevent or slow the influx of calcium ions into smooth muscle cells. B. Any of a class of drugs that prevent or slow the influx of calcium ions into skeletal muscle cells. C. Any of a class of drugs that prevent or slow the influx of calcium ions into cardiac muscle cells. The answer is A. Any of a class of drugs that prevent or slow the influx of calcium ions into smooth muscle cells. Explanation. Definition of calcium channel blocker. Any of a class of drugs, such as verapamil, that prevent or slow the influx of calcium ions into smooth muscle cells, and are used especially to treat some forms of angina pectoris and some cardiac arrhythmias. Number 11. Beta blockers are drugs that block the effects of what? A. Cortisol. B. Adrenaline. C. Dopamine. D. Atropine. The answer is B adrenaline explanation beta blockers also known as beta adrenergic blocking agents are medications that reduce your blood pressure beta blockers work by blocking the effects of the hormone epinephrine also known as adrenaline number 12 which of these following is a calcium channel blocker a sectoral b blockadrin c tenormin d cardism The answer is D. Cardism. Explanation. Cardism, diltiasm, is a calcium channel blocker. It works by relaxing the muscles of your heart and blood vessels. Cardism is used to treat hypertension, high blood pressure. It may be used alone or in combination with other high blood pressure medications. Cardism is also used to treat chronic stable angina, chest pain, and angina, due to coronary artery spasm. Number 13. What can relax blood vessels and are often used to treat high blood pressure? A. Antidepressants. B. Diuretics. C. Vasodilators. D. Nitrates. The answer is C. Vasodilators. Explanation. Nitrates. Treat high blood pressure or congestive heart failure, which results from the heart's inability to pump blood to the body's organs adequately. Diuretics. Help purge excess water from the body and are used to treat edema, congestive heart failure, or high blood pressure. Bronchodilators. Alleviate constriction in the bronchi and bronchioles of the lungs and are often used to treat pulmonary disorders such as asthma. Vasodilators. Relax blood vessels and are often used to treat high blood pressure. Antidepressants. Mood elevators and stabilizers often used to help alleviate symptoms of depression and other psychiatric disorders. Number 14. Which of these following is not an antidepressant? A. Metolazine. B. Citalopram. C. Fluoxetine. D. Sertraline. The answer is A. Metolazine. Explanation. 
Metalazin is a thiazide-like diuretic marketed under the brand name Zytonix from Zytus Cadilla, Xeroxylin, and Microx. Citalopram, Fluoxetine, Sertraline are all antidepressants. Number 15. The Plerinin is an example of what drugs? A. Diuretics. B. Bronchodilators. C. Vasodilators. D. Antidepressants. The answer is A. Diuretics. Explanation. The plerinin is a potassium-sparing diuretic. It helps the body get rid of water, but still keep potassium. Number 16. All the following are examples of special populations requiring additional considerations except A. Young persons are those who have not finished growing physically. B. The elderly are those older than age 45. C. Individuals suffering from coronary heart disease, CHD. D. Those with osteoporosis or low bone density. The answer is B. The elderly are those older than age 45. Explanation. The elderly are considered as special populations requiring additional considerations, but people older than age 45 are not. Number 17. Those with osteoporosis, a disease characterized by low bone density, need to engage in weight-bearing exercise to help decrease their bone density. A. True. B. False. The answer is B. False. Explanation. Those with osteoporosis, a disease characterized by low bone density, need to engage in weight-bearing exercise to help increase their bone density, but the condition necessitates special consideration. Number 18. What is the range of grade school age? A. From 5 or 6 to 12. B. From 5 or 6 to 13. C. From 6 or 7 to 12. D. From 6 or 7 to 13. The answer is A. From 5 or 6 to 12. Explanation. Grade school age is from 5 or 6 to 12, adolescence is from 12 to 18, and up to young adulthood, approximately 21. Number 19. How many minutes should younger children, 6 to 12, be able to tolerate daily vigorous activity? A. 20 to 50 minutes. B. 20 to 60 minutes. C. 30 to 50 minutes. D. 30 to 60 minutes. The answer is D. 30 to 60 minutes. Explanation. With proper calibration for height and weight, adults and young clients have similar oxygen consumption rates, VO2. Similar VO2 rates suggest that young people and adults have a similar capacity for performing cardiorespiratory training activities that require endurance. Younger children, 6 to 12, should be able to tolerate vigorous activity for 30 to 60 minutes daily. Number 20. A young person has higher levels of glycolic enzymes than the average adult. A. True. B. False. The answer is B. False. Explanation. A young person has lower levels of glycolic enzymes than the average adult, which means that he or she would have a lower tolerance for very intense activities that are anaerobic in nature, lasting more than 10 seconds and up to 90 seconds. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.